Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished uh, members of the Security Council, during these past uh, seven months, Kosovo have uh, persevered through multiple and overlapping challenges, starting with ongoing worldwide pandemic. Since uh, it first began in Kosovo in March, the COVID-19 crisis has uh, moved through different phases. The initial uh, response involved stringent measures and uh, lockdowns, but later moved uh, toward a more relaxed approach, prioritizing economic recovery. The pandemic itself uh, has had uh, severe uh, spikes, as well as stable periods, and uh, its uh, spread is now again increasing. While the government of uh, Prime Minister Korti maintained very strict lockdown measures for most of uh, its uh, short tenure during the, the pandemic, to the rapidly spreading pandemic. This affected all aspects of the response from hospitalization to treatment, from testing to tracing, and the implementation of any other pre preventive uh, measures. However, it's important to emphasize that the health care system and uh, frontline health workers in particular have worked heroically to make the best use of limited resources. The socioeconomic consequences have been severe and are not limited to the measurable macro economy. Both uh, uh, Kosovo's formal and informal economic, economic uh, sectors have uh, uh, undergone a severe shock particularly affecting youth and uh, their uh, education, as well as women and vulnerable communities. The psychological fallout is uh, uh, also widely felt across society. Certainly, Kosovo was not left alone in uh, its battle against uh, the pandemic. The international community came forward to strengthen Kosovo's professional uh, and institutional capacity and to mitigate the pandemic's uh, social and economic impact. During September, the European Commission approved a 138 million euro financial assistance package, uh, of which 50 million euro was spe specifically directed to the COVID-19 response. These funds have uh, augmented uh, uh, other material support, financial aid, loans, and expertise, which have been extended by Co to Kosovo by the European Union, the World Bank, and the World Health Organization, and bilaterally. With uh, we in the UNMIC, uh, alongside the UN Kosovo team of agencies, funds, and uh, uh, programs have also significantly adapted our activities to uh, help uh, meet the unprecedented challenges brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. Our focus has been on uh, providing direct uh, support to people, institutions, and communities in the framework of the mission's strategic support for dialogue and trust building in Kosovo. Projects have been uh, tailored uh, to contribute to the re uh, response to COVID-19. The disproportionate impact of uh, pandemic on already vulnerable population is uh, of particular concern. There has been an uh, increase in the number of uh, security incidents reported against vulnerable and non-majority communities during the period of pandemic uh, restrictions. Significant increases uh, in, uh, in uh, cases of domestic uh, violence and violence against uh, uh, children have also been reported. Mr. President, uh, the removal of the 
reciprocity measures upon uh, goods from Serbia and Bosnia Herzegovina by the government of Prime Minister Huti created an impetus for restarting the dialogue between Belgrade and Pristina. This was accompanied by the appointment of the European Union uh, Union's new dedicated special representative uh, Miroslav Lajcik in a high-level uh, meeting hosted by the President of France and the Chancellor of Germany on 10th July, leading to the official uh, resumption of the EU-facilitated dialogue. The US government also uh, launched uh, new initiatives for uh, improving uh, Pristina-Belgrade relations, which culminated in a meeting hosted by the President of the United States in September, during uh, which agreements were signed in the economic and other spheres. I commend Belgrade and Pristina for resuming the negotiations process and call on them to maintain, despite challenges and differences of views, a constructive dialogue process. The recent meeting in uh, Brussels and Washington demonstrated uh, the potential for progress when uh, international resources are combined uh, uh, with uh, leadership on the ground to move difficult issues forward. Of course, the most important condition to be met in order for negotiations to succeed are political unity, strong commitment, and goodwill among leaders both in Pristina and Belgrade, and sustain international support. We welcome the renewed engagement and uh, encourage both sides to find common grounds to overcome disputed issues and reach comprehensive uh, agreement. Mr. President, alongside the United Nations 75th anniversary, this year we also marked the 20th anniversary of the United Nations Security Council Resolution 1325 uh, on uh, women, peace and security. I stress again the importance of uh, women's meaningful participation in the peace process at all levels, particularly in the ongoing dialogue between Belgrade and Pristina as part of ensuring the broader representation of different sectors of society, including youth and communities. Such an approach uh, is, uh, of course, uh, central to achieving results uh, and helps to uh, ensure that they correspond to the uh, real need of uh, people. Mr. President, since uh, my last uh, briefing to the Council, important steps were uh, made to advance the investigative and judicial process of the Kosovo Specialist uh, Prosecutor's Office and Kosovo Specialist uh, chamber, Chambers. In uh, June, the Special Prosecutor Office announced uh, the filing of indictment against President Hashim Tachi and against the leader of the Democratic Party of Kosovo, Kadri uh, Vesili, alongside other uh, those uh, whose name were not uh, made public. Uh, President Tachi uh, has indicated his intention to step down from office if and when his indictment is publicly confirmed by pre-trial uh, judges. In September, arrests were carried out pursuant to warrants and transfer orders issued by the chambers. Uh, three ind individuals concerned are now in pre-trial detention, with uh, one uh, facing war crime charges. The two others are being held on suspicion of intimidation, uh, retaliation, violating the secrecy of proceedings, and unlawful disclosure of protected information. Their arrest followed uh, publication of uh, allegedly leaked uh, prosecutions related documents, which also were claimed to have included some names of possible witnesses. Some of the public uh, reactions in Kosovo to the June announcement of the higher profile indictments have been concerning, including attempts to question the legitimacy of the specialist chambers and the and accusations that it's politically motivated. Unfortunately, some political leaders have not always helped to rectify these false narratives. As is evident uh, to all members of this uh, uh, 
chamber in the international community, uh, as well as the Security Council. Uh, I mean, the Kosovo specialist uh, chambers and specialist uh, uh, prosecutors' office are integral parts of the Kosovo justice system, with mandates uh, crucial to Kosovo's rule of law aspirations and to Kosovo's future. I therefore take the opportunity to urge the leaders to redouble their efforts to counter uh, misinformation and to ensure that the prosecution and uh, chamber's proceedings receive uh, unambiguous institutional and political support essential for strengthening rule of law and long-term stability in Kosovo. Mr. President, uh, ruling by a slim majority, the current government led by Prime Minister Houthi is contending with significant parliamentary opposition as well as widely diverging priorities among coalition partners. Having been in office for uh, barely over 100 days, constant dis disagreements among its uh, constituent parties and difficulty reaching compromises have uh, hampered and delayed its responses in the critical areas that I have highlighted. Mr. President, in the now 75-year uh, history of the United Nations, never has uh, the need for global solidarity and international cooperation uh, been uh, as clearly demonstrated as today. The COVID-19 pandemic, the geopolitical and ethnic tensions expressed in uh, conflicts uh, across the globe, as well as globally increasing inequality or mutually and negatively reinforcing trends. For places such as Kosovo still suffering the consequences of past conflict, cooperation, unity of political voice and vision, dialogue and uh, preventing extreme polarization should be highest order uh, priorities. This solidarity, especially during the current pandemic, should focus extensively on attaining the difficult balance between public health, economic recovery, and human rights, a conundrum presently defying governments the world over. In this uh, same spirit, I wish to close by reiterating UNMIC's unqualified uh, commitment to supporting the EU-facilitated dialogue and indeed uh, for the efforts by leaders on both sides to move decisively towards a comprehensive agreement and a long-term peace and reconciliation. I uh, thank all members of the Council for uh, their kind attention today and for their continuing support of UNMIC. Thank you, Mr. President.